It all started a long time ago. Uh, my dad used to shoot a lot of film uh, of wildlife and I was always around cameras. But really it's only been in the past sort of two or three years I've really got back into it when I found my niche with landscape and seascape stuff. I work in IT when I'm not shooting and it is such a great stress reliever, an amazing stress reliever, just being out there and enjoying it. At the moment we're in Madeira, um, it's such a beautiful place, I mean it's just stunning. I do like a wide landscape, but I like close, intimate detail quite a lot as well. So things like rocks, bits of wood, obviously waves as well, which is a fantastic uh, subject all the time to use. Love a wave. Currently I've got the uh, EM1 Mark III with me, brand spanking new, loads of the features from the EM1X put down into the smaller body, improved image stabilisation, uh, live ND, it's got handheld high res mode, really really useful, I've used it loads on this trip, it's a new favourite feature without a doubt. There are some times where you do need to use maybe a slightly slower shutter speed which you can't really handhold. I, I prefer to use a tripod at that point, especially with those extra long exposures, you can't get away from a tripod in those situations. The weather sealing is really, really important to me. On the sea front, getting loads of spray on your kit, being around waterfalls, again, loads and loads of spray, but even just being out and about, you know, you don't want to have to stop shooting just because of a bit of rain. Shooting a lot at um, uh, sunrise and sunset, the light conditions change so dramatically and so fast. So you have to be really on your toes, you have to be checking your settings all the time. The new OMD EM1 Mark III comes with live ND filters, which is a great addition to any landscape photographer's arsenal. The reason I do it is because I just love being out and about. I love being out in nature. I love being out in, in stunning landscapes. Being able to come to places like Madeira, see amazing sunsets and sunrises, view beautiful scenery, um, and, and capture that moment uh, to, to relive for myself and others. It, it really does make you feel like what you're doing is a bit special. It's great. I hope this will be um, something I do forever now. It's now become a passion. My wife might say it's a slight obsession, so photography is something I could never imagine not doing now. It's something that will be with me forever. <laughs> My name is Ben Moore, aka B More Photos. The style of photography I shoot, I would say, would be urban architecture. And I'm very excited to be shooting with the Nikon Z5. I've got a real hunger for shooting and getting the shot, basically that no one would try and dare to do. I like to push the boundaries of photography, risk it all basically, so I'm a bit of a daredevil when it comes to shooting. I'm holding the Nikon Z5. Attached is the 24-50 to f4 to 6.3. This lens is amazing. You've got wide with the 24, You've also got tight with the 50, portraits and architecture. You can shoot with this lens. And look, it's almost a pancake lens. This is like, weighs next to nothing. When you hold it like this and you have this little portable setup, it's really kind of like, it feels like a point and shoot, you know? It's really a small, you've got a little zoom. It's really nice, it's really cool. I feel like um, you could get this into certain places where you probably won't get a DSLR and be able to get some really cool shots. Full frame, 24 megapixel, can't go wrong. I currently shoot with the Z7, but if I, was, if I was to get a Z5, I think how it would fit with me is that it may be a camera I take to kind of scout some shots. So, because it would be like a lightweight setup, I could basically walk around with it, no bag, just the lens. The common features that the Z7 and the Z5 have is the size and the grip. They've got this nice grip. The feel of it, so it feels and all the buttons are in the same place as the Z7. So it, getting to know the camera took maybe two seconds. It was just, it was just that there was a darkness of the LCD, but that's once you know where all the buttons are, you don't really need the LCD no more because it's, it's all in the EVF as well. As soon as you look through the EVF, you can, you can make a quick shutter speed adjustment and you've kind of got the correct exposure. So I feel the EVF makes it kind of too easy, really. Yeah, you don't really have to check your settings anymore. Yeah, the EVF is, the EVF is like, it's a bit scary because it's almost like optical. It looks like it's optical, they're so sharp. Like, it's so true to the image. 
you can use all the lenses from the Z range, plus you've got the FTZ adapter, and we can use all the F mount glass. You can use the knot on this, like an eight grand, like, yeah, it's really, um, it's really good, it's a really good idea. For people who are on DX and they want to go into full frame and mirrorless, I feel it's a good, it's a good setup. How I feel about being one of the first people who does Z5, it feels amazing. Like it's, it's like an honour, so, you know, for Nikon to say, look, come and use our camera and before it's even out. Yeah, it's a nice camera. Here I am on the South Island of New Zealand where I'm extremely excited that Canon have given me the honour of coming down here to test the new 7D Mark II. Over the next few days I'll be putting it through its paces, but what better place for me to start than where I'm most at home at a motorsport track. That's super impressive, 65 AF points, just can't ask for more. It doesn't matter where you put the focus point in the viewfinder, it tracks the car beautifully. The other great feature is 10 frames a second, so if something happens in front of you, you know the camera's going to catch every bit of it. Going to head up the mountain now and hand the camera over to our skiers and shoot some video up to 60 frames a second with clean HDMI out. Oh, that looks amazing. I love it. Well, we're up here today to do a little bit of uh, mountain bike photography. And as you can see, Weather's always changing, but with the Mark II and it's all magnesium body and weatherproof ceiling, we're ready for whatever the weather can throw at us today. We started out shooting in fog and we thought we'll wait around a little bit longer and it's lifted. And look at what we've got, it really paid off. The beauty is, next time I come here I know exactly where to go because the camera has built-in GPS so I won't have any problems finding this great location again. This new autofocus works incredibly well in low light. We've just followed our rider through the creek and we've managed to get every frame in focus. What an amazing way to end the day up here on top of the mountain with the 7D Mark II. This little camera has a built-in intervalometer, so we're going to do a couple of time lapses here tonight. Get some shots of Queenstown as it sunsets. Check my focus, push the button, and it's as easy as that. It's been an absolute privilege to be one of the first people to experience this sensational new camera and I can't wait to have it with me on my next adventure.